Hey guys, welcome back to our next Too Long Didn't Watch video. Uh, today we're going to be going over Kamisato Ayaka. Alright, so let's just jump into it. So her two main abilities are going to be her E skill, which is going to launch enemies up into the air, doing a bunch of AoE right there. And then her ultimate is going to be a giant cannon blast as she shoots forward like this. And then as you can see, it just moves forward and continues to hit stuff. This is Ayaka's sprint. It imbues her with cryo, so that way her normal attacks do cryo damage as well. What this means is that everything Ayaka does will be cryo damage. So she's going to be a perfect character to partner with a water character like Shing Cho for maximum freeze time. So really quickly, this is my Ayaka. She is level 80. She's going to be focusing really heavily on crit damage and not crit rate because we're using the Blizzard Strayer set. For weapons, I'm using the new Mist Splitter Reforged. Uh, as you can see, it's not fully maxed or anything. You can also use the Black Sword or even the Black Cliff Sword from the Paimon Shop. Really what you want here is a sword with crit damage or crit rate on it. For her passives, the important part is that when she uses her E skill, she'll get 30% normal and charge attack damage. Her second passive activates whenever she hits an application of cryo on an enemy from her sprint. It uh, just gives you more stamina and extra cryo damage. For our team composition, we're really focusing on Ayaka and Shing Cho for this team. Uh, outside of that, it's really up for grabs whatever you want. By using Diona, I am getting the extra cryo resonance, so extra crit on uh, frozen and cryoed enemies. And then uh, by having someone like Kazuha, I can use his passive to increase my elemental damage with cryo even further. Uh, but he's also using the four piece of an error set, so that way it's going to break cryo resist on enemies by 40% as well. On top of that, because I'm using Elemental Mastery for his uh, passive to give me more cryo damage, he's going to be doing a bunch of swirl damage. So these mobs are kind of the perfect mobs to show the strength of what a freeze composition can do. They're one of the most annoying mobs to fight against in the entire game, I would say, because they're just so much, you know, knocking you around and whatnot. But we're able to apply so much wet and cryo here that we're able to freeze them pretty much permanently. Because of that, they can't really run around, and we're constantly able to just cleave off of the two of them and just get the most out of our Blizzard Strayer set and our Cryo Resonance. Remember that because we're using the Blizzard Strayer set, which gives extra crit when things are applied with Cryo and Frozen, uh, as well as the Cryo Resonance, that we can just stack hardcore into crit damage. That's why we have 200 plus percentage for crit damage, even though we only have like 20% for crit we don't really need to stack crit that much and we can kind of focus on our other stats. And the nice part about this is that honestly you could do even to some degree you could do this with Barbara if you wanted to. Use her E ability and then use it to apply the wet status effect and then uh, cry on top of that to freeze. So you don't have to use Shing Cho but he is by far the best at it. And then for our group composition here, again, you could swap out Diona for something else if you wanted to. You could, you know, if you wanted to try and run the Barbara composition, you could do a Barbara and then switch um, the Cryo character out for like Rosaria or something if you wanted to. Um, and then for the Animo slot, you can use any Animo character. You could use Sucrose, you could use the Traveler if you wanted to. Anyone that's really going to be able to apply the four piece Veridus and Venera for you and give you that decrease in elemental resistance. It's also worth noting that even with Venti Ultimate, you're still able to charge attack the units in the air with uh, Ayaka. So you can still be having Venti's Ultimate up and making use of that downtime for the enemies uh, and still hitting them with her charge attacks. Alright guys, that's going to do it for our too long didn't watch video on Ayaka today. Thank you guys so much and if you appreciated the video, give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.